All right, so this tablet is sitting in its first boot, so we're going to set up from the very beginning. I'm going to hurry up and join that to my network. I'm going to sign into my Google account real quick. I'm going to turn these off since this is just going to be strapped to the wall. Sweet, so let's set a few settings. In the settings, I'm going to look at the display and set the sleep to five minutes. And going back, under security, I'm going to set the uh, screen lock to none. Going back again into about tablet, I'm going to enable debugging. And do that in the developer options. Going back to security and enabling installation of apps from unknown sources. And to make this easier to see, I'm going to try to cast the screen and capture this with my Chromecast. It says screen casting is not optimized for this device, but that's kind of an understatement. It barely works. It doesn't matter. All right, so I'm going to try opening the Play Store. I'm going to install some, uh, some apps on here. First one is going to be Tasker. Excellent. Next will be secure settings. Next is motion detector. And it's this one with the binoculars. And the last thing I think I need is a web view. Excellent. Let's clean this up a little bit. Go ahead and close that. Don't need these on the main screen. So we'll just sort of hide those. And Tasker, I want to use often enough that I'm just going to go ahead and pin that. The only thing I have pinned is Tasker. I'm going to go through all of the warnings. Yes, yes, OK. The first thing I'm going to do is data backup and create a backup in the default location so I have a place to overwrite with the configuration I'm going to import. OK, going back to the computer, I'm going to open the internal storage. And there is a tasker folder, uh, configs, user, and then there is backup.xml. Going to, from the tablet frame, tasker profile folder, copy that backup over and replace. Uh, going back to the tablet within tasker, under data, I'm going to restore user local backup. And that is correct. Yes, that is what I want to do. All right, and I've got a couple of exclamation points there, and that's just warning me that I haven't uh, loaded tablet frame yet. Back on the computer, I'm going to open Android Studio. Uh, the main things you need to look at here are the dashboard URL. Mine's already set correctly, but you're going to need to change this to point to your dashing instance. I've also got the refresh timer set to 120 seconds. If you want that to be longer or shorter, you could set that there. And the immersive timer waits three seconds after launching to go full screen again. So from here, I'm going to build and generate a signed APK. And I'm just going to go ahead and take all the defaults. And since it generated, I'm going to show an explorer. There's my app release.apk. I'm going to copy that over to the tablet.
I think I'm just going to put that in the download folder. All right, back on the tablet. I'm going to remember that there's no file browser on this guy, so I'm going to install one really quick. I'll just take the first one I see. All right, we'll launch right into that. Well, that's impossible to click on. Let's just try opening it again. All right, downloads, app release.apk, install. Awesome, so it's installed. I'm going to get this crap out of the way. Go back to Tasker. And you'll see those uh, exclamation points went away. So this is uh, getting close to ready. All that remains is configuring motion detector. So I'll open motion detector. And very first, the most important thing is to turn on send notifications and open the preferences. I like to set the delay to five seconds, which is the default. I set suspend to 10 seconds. I like to adjust the sensitivity down a little bit. Change the filter resolution to eight by eight and turn the noise filter on. And since this tablet isn't all that quick, I uh, change the reduce time to somewhere around 50 milliseconds. I set it to require two events to trigger. And I set the minimum interval to about half a second. Since it's going to be on the wall, I want it to use the front camera, not the rear. And I want it to use the maximum resolution available by the device, which is 640 by 480. And the last setting is probably one of the most important. Uh, you want to make sure that auto start is enabled, otherwise this really doesn't do you any good. All right, so I can close all of this, go back to Tasker, and start the device boot. The first time tablet frame launches, it will tell you that you can swipe down from the top to exit the screen. So you could swipe down from the top or you could swipe up from the bottom. Either way will raise the controls. And if you want to close it, you can always uh, treat it just like any other Android application. And so what's really cool is since we have Tasker set to do that on device boot, it takes care of setting itself up as soon as the device is turned on. One of the things I do to keep it from getting janky is reboot at 4 a.m. every day. And just to show it in action real quick, I'm going to go back through and run device boot again. and I'll bring in a webcam overlay. Controlling the upstairs lights, the upstairs hallway on and off. Hey, if you like this or if it helped you, go ahead and uh, leave a comment, let me know. Uh, it keeps me motivated to keep doing these. If you get stuck on anything, go ahead and leave a comment and I'll try to try to help you if I can. Thanks for watching.